Here's your farm and ranch report from the Montana Ag Network. Hello everyone, it's time for today's farm and ranch news. Today we see that major steps were made this week between the U.S. and China. Finally, the two nations have pretty much agreed on an enforcement mechanism, a major hurdle in trade talks between the two nations. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin this week said that both sides have agreed to establish enforcement offices as port as part of an effort to reach a trade agreement. Enforcement is a top priority and one of the most difficult to agree on and previously stated by the Trump administration. Meanwhile, earlier this week, Ag Secretary Sonny Perdue described ongoing talks with China to cut ethanol tariffs positive for U.S. agriculture. However, Perdue warned the talks were not over. He says lowering ethanol tariffs in China would obviously be good for our domestic corn industry and agriculture as a whole, but it's never over till it's over with the Chinese. In other headlines now, the threat of African swine fever and what it poses to the world protein sector is escalating. Citing an abundance of caution, the National Pork Producers Council announced its decision to cancel the World Pork Expo 2019 as African swine fever continues to spread in China and other parts of Asia. World Pork Expo held each June at the Iowa State Fairgrounds hosts approximately 20,000 visitors over three days, including individuals and exhibitors from ASF positive regions. The decision to cancel this year's World Pork Expo comes as U.S. pork producers are in Washington this week for the National Pork Producers Legislative Action Conference. Pork producers are asking Congress to appropriate funding for 600 new U.S. Customs and Border Protection Agriculture Inspectors to further strengthen defense against African swine fever. Now, despite the cancellation, the National Swine Registry, Certified Pedigree Swine, and American Berkshire Association are still planning a live swine show during the week of June 2nd through the 8th. Don't go away. We'll have more right after this. A bill that is seeking to limit the use of agricultural checkoff funds has been reintroduced in the Senate and has several backings of current or former presidential candidates on both sides of the aisle. The Opportunities for Fairness and Farming Act of 2019 was reintroduced last week by Democratic Senator Cory Booker of New Jersey and Senator Mike Lee, a Republican from Utah. The bill was co-sponsored by Senator Rand Paul of Kentucky and Senator Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts. They say that the checkoff programs force farmers to pay into a system that sometimes actively works against their interests. RCAF USA applauded the reintroduction of the bill, calling the mandatory checkoff a cattle tax. Animal rights groups like Animal Wellness Action support the bill. The legislation was previously introduced during Congress's 2017-18 session and was supported then by the Humane Society of the United States. And while animal rights groups and some agriculture groups want to see reforms or even an end to checkoff promotion programs that, util that are utilized by corn, soybean, and the cattle industries, Earlier this year, an independent survey of beef producers found 74% continue to approve the beef checkoff program. This finding is 5% higher than the survey a year ago. Also, the more producers know about the program, the more supportive they are, the study says. The random survey of over 800 beef and dairy producers nationwide was conducted by the independent firm Aspen Media Market. The survey found that in addition to stronger support to the checkoff compared to a year ago, a substantial majority of beef and dairy producers continue to say their beef checkoff is a good program as a whole. And that will do it for today's Farm and Ranch News.